Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lions Den with another news and commentary. I want to give a shout out to Asa Sweetheart on Twitter about this story. Now, before I read her tweet, um, there's an incident in Virginia Beach about a few days ago. A young man um, who was in an interracial relationship um, dating this white girl, okay? Now, her father, um, the victim's girlfriend's father, didn't like the relationship. All of a sudden, there's been a, a, a bit, a, basically a confrontation went down. And, you know, of course, the, the girlfriend's father opened fire, you know, when he driving away, hitting his car, shot him three times. And he went to a nearby 7-Eleven when EMS and Virginia Beach police was there to revive him. Luckily, he survived. But it goes to show you that if you're in an interracial relationship, this is the risk you're going to be taking, especially if the if the um, if the girlfriend's father didn't like you. So it's, you're going to take a very serious risk. Now, with that being said, this is what his cousin said on Twitter. And again, shouts out to Asa Sweetheart. And she said, last week, my cousin was shot by his girlfriend Girlfriend's father, who is a member of the KKK, he shot my cousin three times through his car as he was trying to drive away. My cousin survived with a pierced lung. Today, he was let out on a $500 bond, and I am livid. The system is disgusting. And, you know, she she also tweeted an article of the situation, and she tweeted the, of the she really tweeted the suspect that shot her cousin. And he said his name is Patrick Fontaine Creek Jr., member of the KKK. He is the owner of PJR Roofing LLC in Norfolk, Virginia. This is the man that shot my cousin. He is convicted felon and was let out on bond. Please retweet to spread awareness. This man is dangerous. And that, my friend, is him. 43 years old. You know, it's really sad that our kids are targeted by a KKK, a white supremacist. And it's proven time and time again, ladies and gentlemen, that as of right now, people can't go on interracial relationships. It's too dangerous. And with racial tensions going on right now, this is not a good idea for even deciding to date outside of, per of a person's race. Now, I'm not telling a person what to do or if you feel like you want to date someone, whatever. But as but since racial tensions is going on now, this is this isn't safe for anyone. And I'm sorry, folks. Um, this is why I said, ladies and gentlemen, that. You know, we as black people need to re really stick together on this. And, you know, luckily that young man didn't die. He survived. Um, so I'm reading the response of her tweets. And, you know, one of the guys said $500 bond with a question mark. And so Asia Sweetheart responded to him and she said, yes, this happened in Norfolk. He is a known white supremacist and a convicted felon. And his business owner, we think, has he has friends in the system. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know, and I'm and I'm trying to read all these tweets. We as a we as a people now need again need to watch our backs. Because especially in this time, we have racial tensions going on right now. And with interracial relationships going on, it's not a good idea, especially when you have kids involved in this. It's not a good idea to date someone out of, outside of your race right now. But I'm not telling you guys what to do. But as of right now, it's not a good idea. Because you never know. You could be just like that, just like his cousin, like her cousin, you know? And and what's so dis so disgusting, he's a white supremacist, and they let him out on a $500 bond. Are you serious? Um, that is attempted murder. He 
Dick, he could have killed that young black man because he dated his, his daughter. His daughter, who's a white girl. But now, ladies and gentlemen, this isn't the time. I mean, this is why I said that interracial relationships isn't a good idea. And and I, and I if people need to, st like I said, stay on their own, be with their own. But you got people out there that still want to date outside of their race. But it's not safe now. It's not safe because you got situations like this happening. But I hope that, I mean, so far he's, a, so far he survived. But I hope he learned a lesson that you don't just date anybody outside of their race. That's not a good idea. You can easily be killed doing something like this. And you got a, a, a race, you got a white supremacist literally almost killed this young man. And they let him out on a $500 bond. Let alone they should have took away his bail in the first place, but refused to do it because he got people in the system. That's unacceptable. Y'all let me know what you think about this. Like, click, subscribe, and remember to click the notification bell for all the news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions Den signing off. Deuces.